Hey everybody, what we're going to be tying today is a little wet fly pattern called the Colonel Jim. So let's get started. Now, for materials, I'm going to use some Danville, 70 denier thread, and olive. Hook will be a TMC 100, number 16. The body will be chronic. Blending filament 0 0.015. The dubbing will be UV, or excuse me, just ice dub, olive brown. The hackle will be CDC, natural brown. And also, we're going to add a partridge feather to this. So let's get started. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is put our hook into the vise. Begin wrapping our thread. Right, so we're just going to start here and go back to the bend of the hook, which remembers the barb. Maybe stay just a little short of that. take our chronic thread and just make the body out of it. Okay. So we're just going to tie this in right here. Trim that excess out of there. here to make the body. Come up just behind the hook eye right here. Tie this little feller off. Trim that off. At this stage, we're going to apply a little dubbing here. And what this is going to do is going to make a little ball because when we do this wet fly, we want the, the barbules to kind of waver in the current and make, give it a realistic type action. So we're going to put a little dubbing here, just a, a little dubbing ball just to prop that up. And what I like to do, I've got the ball here, but I'm going to come forward and back just to kind of plump it up a little bit and hold it in place just like that okay now one of the variations of this fly you can tie we're going to take this cdc feather i've got two actually so we're only going to need one we'll take this feather and we're going to tie it in for the hackle okay so what i'm going to do so I'm just going to take a little bit of stroke these barbules back okay, and make a purchase point right here. I'm just going to tie that in just like this. Okay. A couple wraps around there, three wraps, and then we're going to just trim this. Okay. Take our hackle pliers. You gotta make a couple, three wraps on this. Okay, there we go. That's plenty. And let's come around one more time. There we go. Okay, now 
We're just going to tie that off right there. scissors just trim that there we go now at this stage you can just finish off we'll pull that back and put a wrap or two around there at this stage you can just leave it like that if you wanted to and trim these fibers and you've got you a good old wet fly but this version we're going to add a Hungarian partridge feather now what these barbies the CDC are going to do they're going to trap air bubbles so when you fish this fly as an emerger, those air bubbles are going to be trapped and it's going to give it a little bit more of a realistic appearance. So we're going to just take and trim that back just about to the barb end like that. Okay. Then we're going to take, we've got a feather from a Hungarian partridge neck and I'm just going to take and I'm going to do the same thing, just trim it back or preen it back a little bit until we get a purchase point. Okay. Now in this particular thing, I'm going to trim off, I'm going to take the concave end is away from me. Okay, so this is facing me. I'm going to take the barbules on the left side of that feather, I'm just going to trim them off. There we go. Okay, and we're going to just take and tie that in. thing you don't want to do is block your eye. So you've got your your hackle on, hackles. I'm just going to pull that back and tie it off. Okay. And trim it. There we go. a little bit. So there you go. The Colonel Jim.